I'm Joseph Kerr. Welcome to the Joseph Kerr Show. Today is Wednesday, April the 17th, 2024. And we're counting all the stuff we're doing here today. And it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable for us. Unbelievable that we've seen here today. Just going to be absolutely unbelievable. Going to turn the blinds down. Now I'm gonna see what's going on and see what's happening here for us and I I can honestly say it about that. Absolutely. Unbelievable that you're gonna see what you're gonna see away right now because I'm I mean it's absolutely unbelievable right now. Unbelievable. That's gonna be a you can you can you can simply tell what it might come out. But anyway, you might come out for something. You might go and come out for something, you're going to show you for you know, quite some time. Every time we're going to see, every time we're going to know about this and that. But we're going to get into that in a moment. But anyway, the NBA class is on. Golden State Wolves are out of the playoffs. No thanks for that. Last day, last night was a season ending for them. And that's it really has. The Sacramento Kings have beat the Golden State Warriors and Warriors out. The walls are out. That's the first time the second the the Kings are in the playoffs. That's the second time they second year and the second time they doing the in the playoffs for so we have to see it to believe it. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Golden State. Now Golden State Golden State Wars <clears throat> have been out for some time now, and it's just like this and this and that, and this is what is happening here. Now, what's the future for Zach Coy? What's the future for Clay Thompson? What's the future for Draymond Green? Well, as we all just say, that, that this is just a violent thing, I ever, just a, the realest thing I've ever seen. And the Los Angeles Lakers have beaten. Well, they have beaten the New Orleans Pelicans, and they are in the playoffs to face Denver. But New Orleans isn't out yet. We're gonna have to see what happens now. Once for sure, let's take a look. See it plays out. See it went down last night. Now, it's the Golden State Wolves dynasty finally over. After their single elimination play-in tournament game on Tuesday, in which they lost to the night scene Sacramento Kings in a balancing fashion of 118-94, it can very well be over. Four-time NBA champion and long-time warrior Clay Thompson will be a free agent this summer, and many signs point to him landing in elsewhere in free agency. If that were to be true, this would be the end of one of the greatest dynasty ones in NBA history. However, Wallace head coach Steve Kerr wants Thompson to stay, wants Thompson to stay after their blowout loss on Tuesday. Kerr involved for the team to keep the five-time All-Star. Still on NBA written for ESPN, Mark Spills shared the quote from Cole's press conference by Ants. And he said, We need Clay back. He still has good layers left. And I speak for anyone. We want him back. So that's what Steve Cole just said. Steve Cole just said. Well, it's likely no Wolves fan wants to see Thompson in another jersey as he's done and done in the Wolves logging across his chest his entire 13-year career. However, the 34 year is coming to the end of the his five year with $189.9 million deal, of which he signed in 2019 since his new contract was finalized 
It's been a struggle for their shot shooter. Thompson struggling to return to his entire to, to his elite level after missing two full seasons in 2019 to 2020 and 2020 to 2021 due to a tour ACL and a case. Thompson suffering the tour ACL during game six of the 2019 NBA Finals against the Toronto Raptors. A year and a half there, he turned his bright Achilles to end up. The injury occurred during the workout and the offseason. The two-time All-NBA player is a shell of his former self, which was in the video against the Kings. Thompson put up a dot. Thompson put up a donut in the score department, going over for ten, along with four rebounds in the sports assists. Now, if this is the end of the Warriors, well, why it was? Thompson, along with Fusel Hall of Famer Draymond Green and Stephen Curry, was just a trio as the NBA has ever seen. The trio holds 518 wins in the regular season and playoffs. The sixth most bad trio of all time. They also they are also had ninety eight playoff wins when all three play. Which is the third most all time and won four NBA championships together. Time with the legendary Spurs trio of Tim Duncan, Marlon Ginobili, and Tony Parker for the most titles by the RNBA trail over the last 50 years. This trail will go down as possibly the greatest of all time and by far the greatest in the 2010s in his career. Thompson has averaged 19.6 points, 3.5 rebounds, and 2.3 assists per game while shooting 45.3% for the field and 41.3% from the three. Thompson will be sure to be playing basketball next year as he, is, as he enters his age 35 season. The only question is, will he be still being Golden State? But anyway, look, there is no way, there is no way the the border dynasty will be built. There is no way the border dynasty will grow. There is no way. Well, since there have been a dynasty just back in the back in the late twenty tens, it's always on the mouth. In the mid twenty ten in the start back in twenty fifteen, they have won the NBA town for the first time. That was twenty fifteen. Right. They beat the Cavs in game six, but they lost to the Cavs in game seven at home. Had LeBron James win his third NBA title, including the Cavs' first win. And then they had a redemption. They rebound, they had a redemption, they won, they beat the Cavs twice, 2017 and 2019. Okay, now this time they lost to the Raptors. Uh, the next year they lost to the Raptors in 2019. And KD got injured and Clay Thompson got injured. That was in the 2018 19 season, in the postseason, in the NBA Finals. NBA Finals in game five, KD got injured. Clay Thompson hit a three, tied again, they hit another three. And they won in game five to keep the series alive. But then came the disaster. Clay Thompson got injured, and they gave up the Raptors to win their first NBA championship. And then 2022, Warriors came back. They beat the Celtics to win the NBA championship. And now here we go again for this whole stuff going on. 
damn, I gotta tell you what, this is not looking good for the Warriors. The Warriors dynasty is over, and Clint Thompson will be the free agent. Well, the question is, will Clint Thompson play for the Warriors for years? For years? I can tell, I can tell, we we'll have to wait and see what it plays out. We we'll have to wait and see. KD for the Suns, Artina Pogo for the Bucks, Doc Rebels coaching for the Milwaukee Bucks. You know, I, I do not know what's happening here for the Wars, but I can never, I can never tell that one. The Wars happy a dynasty for years. And then it just crumbles. It just crumbles for well. But anyway, it's just, it's just not going right for them. But now, if you ever pick that choice, even the Denver Nuggets, even the OKC Dono, the Boston Celtics, the New York Nets, the Philadelphia Seven Sisters. We're gonna find out who and we're gonna find out what's going on now. From my expected, this is whole this is all the just platoon. You know Seth Corey, Seth Corey, yes, they they might be I mean, he might be playing as the Golden State Warrior. We're going to wait and see now. On last night, the Golden State Warriors played the Sacramento Kings on the wall for their play-in tournament matchup. The Warriors got blown out 118-94, to so they have now been eliminated from the 2024 postseason and will not qualify for the 2024 NBA playoffs. That's what I say now. Gary Payton, the second, did not play in the team's final four games, including Tuesday's loss. However, he has been a key role player for the franchise and fills the regular season with average of three point with five point or five point five points, two point six rebounds, and one point one assists for con per contest by shooting fifty six point three percent from the field. And 36.4% for three point range in 44 games. Now, Wednesday, Payne, the second, was asking about his future with the franchise. He has a player options and, and his contract for next season. So, look, David Payne, the second, knows it. He had to, he had to do this concern. His future will be maybe for the future in 2024 25 season. But look, it has to just like this and this and that, and it goes, it goes down now. I'm going to say this again. Now, Payton has had two stunts with the Warriors and helped them win the 2022 NBA championship over the Boston Celtics. In addition to the Warriors, he has also spent time with the Washington Wizards, Milwaukee Bucks, Portland Trail Blazers, and the Los Angeles Lakers. His career average of are uh, 5.2 points, 2.8 rebounds, 1.1 assists, and 1.0 steals per contest by shooting 55.1% from the field with, and 34.5 for the three-point range in 2020. 208 regular season games. He has also appeared in 24 NBA playoff games. It's a lot. For sure it is. For sure it is and shoot it out. I hope everything can happen. I hope everything can know about this for sure. Now the Golden State now, what happened is now, the question is, can the Lakers come back to beat the Denver Nuggets? Can they beat the Denver? That will be this weekend. We don't know for sure. For sure. That's what it is. That's what it's going to be. That's what it's all about. For sure. But it will happen. It will happen this Monday, I think. Yeah. So, as I look right now, for sure, ladies and gentlemen, 
This whole stuff here at the finals. Now, we got the playoffs, and we got everything that comes over around. Let's take a look and check this shit out. I know we do nothing about this whole stuff going on. I know about the fans, I know everything about this. Yeah, we got the now tonight on ESPN, ESPN two, we got the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia Seven Sisters, and we got Seven Sisters, and we got the Atlanta Hawks versus the Chicago Bulls. And that will be a good one. The Kings versus the Pelicans, they'll all end the playoffs. We're going to find out what it is. I know, so, look, I really don't know what's happening here, folks. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to see what's happening here, folks. You cannot even tell what the, what the heck is going on. This is everything. This is going for everyone. I can tell you what. This is, this is the whole thing you don't want to watch. You need to watch this. So anyway. So a lot. I I I do I do love the wars. I do love the Golden State Wars. It was continuing to continue. I thought I, I thought they played better. I believe they played better. And it looks like they lost. And yes. It has it. So now let's go to the Lakers now. The Lakers, the Los Angeles Lakers right now, they have uh beaten New Orleans. The black they're back. <coughs> now the question is, did the Lakers win? That's they are. And now back, the Los Angeles sluggling out at 110, 106 win over the Pelicans to claim the number one, the number seven scene in the Western Conference. Los Angeles blew an 18 point lead, but may hit foul, made its foul 14 three fours, 14 free throws, including six in the final 15 seconds to hold on and on a day with the defending champion Nuggets in the first round. Now, the Lakers had never lost a play-in game, and they had the usual suspects to thank for the lap. LeBron James narrowly missed out on a triple double with 23 points, nine rebounds, and nine assists. Anthony Davis had 20 points and 15 rebounds, and the Angel Russell had added 21 points including five three-pointers. Currently, Los Angeles only turned the ball over eight times and forced 13 turnovers. On the other side, the game of a lifetime ended with a disappointment of a lifetime. After the game flying, floating with 3.19 seconds, 3.19 left, seconds left gave him 40 points in, the first, in his first career postseason game. Zion Williamson, Ronald was stomping in and out seconds. Seconds level with what the team let a theme with a left last soreness. He'll undergo an official amazing today. It's unfortunate, but this is Will's career in a nutshell. The signs of greatness are obvious. He's a ridiculous athlete and a bruising body control towards him around the whim. 
training, signs and exposures, exposures. He also can't stay half, and his injury is kind of at the most important in time. His chance at a true legacy came in that we held in the locker room most important at times. His chance at a, his chance at true legacy again in the other way hand and the lock in the locker room. Even score is breathtaking. Everyone sent makes you hold your breath. Brian Barkley, his toughness on Remington's magnificent and everything else for the game. Now, the New Orleans Pelicans has just lost to the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's just say, well, anyway, we have to try again throughout that season. I don't think, and possibly without Zion Wilson. Well, the Los Angeles Lakers right now, the Le- LeBron James, I mean, yes, his 21st career, his 21st career NBA year, in the age of 40, in the age of 39, but anyway, seems to be looks like it's going to come, t- it's going to come to him. The game will come to him, it will come to him, and that's it. So that's why I just want to know when this game is going to come out. This is just a little bit. I can now I can never explain the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers have been fantastic, but they are the number seven team here in the NBA. This playoff starts this Saturday, and I believe this is a good one. This is going to be a good one. Man, it's so sweet. But anyway. Anyway, we have seen the NBA just a little bit. The New York Knicks is in it. Boston Celtics is in it. They are the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. The Celtics and Sizzles are in it. Well, anyway, they are, they, it looks like they're about to, it, it's going to have to wait until they get there, until they get qualified. But anyway, but look, it's on mouse. It's on mouse that we have seen. So far today. Now, if you look at the playoff brackets, so right now, they and the players right now to get but that is going to be the other scene. They got the on the number. We got the Bucks, the number three seed in the Eastern Conference, face the Pacers. We got the Nets, the number two seed now. They are the number two seed here in the NBA. We got the Cavs and the Magic. Now, on the rest of the conference, on the number four seed, we got the Clippers and the Mavericks, the Timberwolves and the Suns, and our Nuggets and the Lakers. The one that played against the Pelicans and they won, that was last night. I can't believe you're gonna see this. You're gonna see this. What happens and what's happening right now? I can I can show this. The playoffs is gonna be serious. NBA playoffs is gonna be serious. I can tell you this right now. It, it's gonna be absolutely unbelievable. And I gotta show you this and this and that. It, it's gonna be amazing, amazing NBA 2024 postseason that we've ever seen before. I can tell you this. This is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. This is gonna get real. It's gonna be real. It's gonna be in, in it's gonna be the one that you will never forget. I can have a, I can just say it, but anyway. But we'll find out and see what happens here, our thoughts. Until then, I'm Joseph Kura. Please subscribe to this video, add it on YouTube, and like it on YouTube. It's gonna be this is the NBA class. It's just about Couple of days away, starting Saturday. Till then, take care, everybody. Peace out.